Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the all new Windows 10 Insider Preview, which is build 10147. So as you can see, let's swipe that up, we got the new login screen. No longer a square, but a circle or kind of profile picture. And then we got new icons over here. Now let's just put in my password. Welcome to Windows 10. Now as you can see there's some noticeable differences such as the small start icon and we also got a new profile picture that will new wallpaper that will come with Windows 10 preview. So as you can see it's built 10147 and there's some noticeable differences including the new icon such as the recycling bin has also changed and the desktop download documents etc. Now let's check out the start menu. Now let's focus on Microsoft Edge, which is Microsoft's latest browser project after they killed off Internet Explorer. So let's type up Windows 10. And it automatically uses Bing. And I must admit, I'm really impressed on the way they designed this this browser. It's more, more stylish, more materialized, and Internet Explorer these days looks like a junk, but this this could actually, I could actually think that this could have some competi competition with Chrome, which I really hope this is as good as Chrome in the end. So this is Microsoft Edge. It's a, you should also note that this is a Metro application and Metro applications can now be treated as ordinary applications the way they, they work. So you don't need to deal with the full screen madness anymore on Windows 10. So that's, that's basically Microsoft Edge for you. Looks a lot like, the way it's designed, it also looks a little bit like Chrome, the way it was designed. And if it says, do you want to close all tabs? Close all. So that's Microsoft Edge. We also got a new Microsoft Store, which is now blue compared to the traditional green color in Windows 8 and 8.1. Let's see if, oh, that did load. So as you can see, we got an ad for Guardians of the Galaxy game. We, we can check on the apps that they have. If it does load. Nope. Can't load, I'll just close it. So as you can see, let's see what else we got here. Also noticed on the start menu, we got a new kind of interface. We don't have the full screen, but I've noted that in the technical preview, the video that I done on the Windows 10 technical preview. So, but one thing you should notice is the way the start menu has changed. So as you can see, we got all the most used apps on one side. On the other side, we got all the Metro apps. So I'm a little bit disappointed on what they've done. In the technical preview, it was like one side was Windows 7, apps and one side with Metro but I think they changed it completely because these days Metro these days Metro is more popular and the way they made it is it works for desktop apps too so they've killed it off we got the calculator here and you can also expand that too so I can put in six times six plus four ten now let now let's see what else we have over here you just click on it we got change account settings lock sign out you can you got all the power options here now let's look at the settings because that's one thing they actually did made a difference with so this is the new settings in screen as you can see the no it's mainly metro these days literally 100 percent metro at this point you don't have the old you don't have the old win Old control panel that you used to have in Windows Vista 7, 8, or 8.1. So you can click on personalization, you can choose that. Note that you can't change anything unless you activate. We got devices, system, you can change it to tablet mode, which they didn't have back in Windows 8. Let's check about actually. So Windows 10. Pro inside a preview, 32-bit, 
despite the fact it's x64 bit processor I'm using 32 bit and system info and oh look we got the old control panel how impressive I actually thought they got rid of that control panel for good but thank goodness it's still there because the fact that it's still there means you can change it looks like you could change stuff without having to deal with activation pretty much a loophole at this point so as you can see now let's search something up so if Cortana decides to work nope we got popular now I'm just going to search up command prompt and then we got a new a command prompt instantly so let's type in Winver Windows build 101.7 10147 registered to Gil Bates. And you also notice that though they've also changed the way the windows work, such as the new the new theme in, looks completely different to Windows 8 and 8.1. Looks completely different. Not in, not in design but is in color. We got one note, we can go into photos and you can see a collection of photos so you can add all your photos here if you add them to your pictures folder let's get music up and then you can get all your collection of music that you have on your device which basically replaces Windows Media Player so I think that's basically it that is Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. My name is, as you know, Martin Noble. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in my next video. And to wrap this up, shutting down. Oh, and no.